Hello and welcome to What The Math. Today we're talking about logic and this is a horse. This is a very logical horse. Now we're talking about chapter 8 logic and I'm going to try to explain logic to you using Minecraft because it does allow us to create these logical gates or logical um, steam objects that will help us to understand the logic visually. Now this cow understands logic perfectly well so you're going to be next. Now these are my animals that I was making a long time ago. This is a giraffe, this is a polar bear and a brown bear holding hands, this is a crocodile and this is an elephant. Do not judge, try to make it better. Alright, so let's look at the logic. Now I have, um, I've made my first logic gate, this is an end gate and this is what we were studying before, this is the end sign that I'm putting in the description right here somewhere. And basically, this is what, it, what I have. I have two propositions. Now, remember, these two propositions have two values. The first proposition is, I am not hungry. So this is light up right now, or lit up. Uh, I am not hungry, and if I turn it off, this means, this means I'm hungry. So this is, I am not hungry, and this is, I'm hungry. So there's only two values. This is the first proposition. And the second proposition is, I don't like chicken. So I don't like chicken is lit up right now, and this, is, this means I like chicken. This is, I don't like chicken. This is, I like chicken. So there's um, two propositions and each of them has two values. Now, essentially, this is the basics of logic. Now, this right here, what I've created is, it's what we call, in, in Minecraft, it's called end gate, but in logic, we just call it uh, end statement or conjunction. It's also known as conjunction. Now, conjunction only works or only is true when both of these values are true. Right now, they're both false. Or actually, the um, okay, no, no, I I made a mistake here. I am talking about the opposite of a value. So this is actually not p, and this is not q, because I don't like chicken and I'm not hungry. So in other words, this is a negative. Now well, this is why it's lit up because it's a negative. Right now it's a positive. Right now it's a negative. So what I'm going to do is I want to see what happens when both of them are actually true. So if I like chicken, oops, if if I like chicken. And if I'm hungry, let's see what happens. Oh, look at that, there's a chicken. Ha, huh, magic. All right, so that's actually what I was trying to show you. So basically, when both of them are true, the conjunction becomes true. But when only one of them is true, and only one of them is true, or when both of them are true, or when the other one is true, nothing happens. Chicken only occurs when both of them are true. So both of them have to be true. So I have to be hungry and I have to like chicken for chicken to occur. So that's conjunction. Now let's try disjunction. And this is what a disjunction looks like. So there, it's actually a lot simpler. It, there are two possibilities, of course, and they are, oh, and this is what um, an OR gate is called. So this is OR gate. And basically there's two possibilities. So possibility number one is, oh my God, chicken really likes me. Uh, num number one is chicken is delish. And number two is I am starving. So right now it's actually in the off position. So it's it's saying I am not starving and chicken is not delish. So if, if I'm not starving and chicken is not delish, I get nothing. Now, if I am starving, I get a chicken. If chicken is delish, I'm get, I get another chicken. There's two chickens here. And obviously, if both of them are true, you get another chicken. But unfortunately, it doesn't come out because it, it didn't reset yet. So if I reset this, I may actually get another chicken. There we go. There's another chicken right here. So there is three possibilities to three truths and one false. The only false we get is if both of them are off. So this is the only false when um, basically this junction is false. And the last one we're going to take a look at is, oh no, it's raining, oh no. The last one we're going to take a look at is uh, exclusive disjunction, or as it's known in, um, in uh, computer science and also Minecraft, it's known as XOR gate. And here's the exclusive disjunction. So this is a slightly more complicated uh, contraption. And this is, is also known as XOR gate. And basically here there's two possibilities and it's either one, it's not both. So here. I like cats is number one, or I like dogs, number two, but not both. I cannot not like cats and not like dogs, and I cannot like cats and like dogs. I can only like one. So either I like one or the other. So let's just say I like dogs, woof. And look at that, there's a dog. Okay. Can I can I like both? Can I like both? No, I can't. What about what if I like cats? Woof. Oh no, there's a go. There's a go. There's a cat. So if I like cat, eh, where are you going? 
Oh no, it's killing my chickens. Oh no, oh no. I don't like cats. I really don't. You deserve it, you fell down. So basically that's it. Uh, that's it, uh, that's the uh, XOR gate or uh, exclusive disjunction in a nutshell. Now, hopefully this will, this was a little bit more helpful and a little bit more clear. This was a more visual representation. Hi, dog. What's up? Want some chicken? Want some chicken? Want some chicken? You want some chicken? Oh, he wants some chicken. He likes me now. All right, so and that's uh, that was basically a visual representation of how to do these gates and how to uh, do logic in Minecraft. If you still don't get it, try to maybe do it with a truth table because those are a little bit easier but before we finish let me just show you how to do this on your calculator if you totally do not understand any of this and you're still confused and you just can only use your calculator to solve these things so i'm gonna um bring up my calculator and show you how to do uh truth tables on a calculator so here's ti84 and i'm going to enter uh this is going to be i'm going to imagine this is my p so for example this is going to be i like chicken and there's two possible values for truth so truth truth or false false so one is for truth truth and zero is for, for false now this is my other one where i can say let's just say i like pizza and here i can have uh, you have to actually put them as one zero one zero so that there's actually four different possibilities now so either i like chicken i like pizza or i like chicken i don't like pizza or i don't like chicken i like pizza and or i don't like anything now, what, uh, let's just say on the test you're asked to find a uh, conjunction of P and Q. Let's just say you have to find conjunction of P and Q, which is basically like saying find P and Q. Now, what you do is you go here, you go on top of the third L, L3, and you type the following. You type L1, so that's second one, L1. Now, you go into this uh, new button. So, this is a math button, but you're going to do second math, which gives you test. And then you go to the right to the logic. And so L1 and L2. And this will automatically give you all your values. And look at that. So the only true value here is if you have two truths. Everything else is false. Now let's check conjunction just for fun. So L1, second math, logic, or L2. And look at that, three truths and one false. And you can also do this for X or as well. So that's L1, uh, second math, X or L2. And it's uh, false for this and false for this and only truth when it's either one of them. So that's essentially what I just showed you in Minecraft and that's how you can do this on your calculator. So just remember that it's second math and this is where the logic is. So there's and, or, x, or, and not. And not is basically the opposite of the normal proposition. All right, hopefully this was helpful and thank you for watching. Good luck to you and bye bye. I'm gonna go play some more Minecraft. Hello dog. Here's some more chicken.